Tesla has patented its new unbox process, which they say is the most efficient way to make a car, the most efficient way in history. And I think Tesla's, to be honest, probably right about this. Here are the details we know so far about Tesla's unbox process and what it entails. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Tesla has been granted a patent for its unboxed manufacturing process, which they say will revolutionize the manufacturing industry. It aims to improve the affordability, basically to reduce Tesla's cost of producing a vehicle and increase efficiency, make it much faster to make a car much cheaper. Now, I actually think this will happen and it's very real. Tesla has definitely changed the manufacturing industry. Toyota, Hyundai, Volkswagen Group, many manufacturers now are going to use Tesla's advanced giga castings, not from Tesla, but they use, they're buying the same machines from the same company in Italy to stamp out enormous sections of the car. This is the single most revolutionary change to the manufacturing process in the automotive industry in the last 50 years. If you can think of something that's more revolutionary, well, I'd say you're wrong because it is. There has not been any other innovation like this where you can take 300 parts and turn them into one single large part. But Tesla's going a lot further than that with the unbox process. The company brought this idea that vehicle manufacturing could shift from traditional assembly lines, which is the way it's done now, to making production more efficient, more cost-effective, and more scalable for the future with mass market models like the Tesla Cybercab, which is meant to be a robo-taxi that just drives itself. This process includes utilizing past methods that Tesla has brought into automotive manufacturing. So it includes gigacasting, it includes structural battery integration, and obviously structural batteries are now used by half the industry, but with more efficient manufacturing processes like pre-painting, uh, painting the car's door panels and the body pieces before the vehicle is actually assembled. It's an interesting idea. Of course, if you weren't careful, you could scratch the panels, but if it's done right, this could really improve the efficiency. Tesla says these are the main advantages. The present disclosure relates to an automated system and method for assembling exterior vehicle parts to a vehicle assembly structure. The system utilizes an automated assembly cell with fixtures corresponding to each exterior vehicle part and references a global datum for precise alignment. The method improves assembly efficiency by compensating for substructure irregularities with an engineered adhesive gap and allows for a continued assembly during adhesive curing through tacking operations. Instead of traditional welding strategies, the company plans to use a different bonding method through adhesives. In described examples, a modular vehicle architecture allows for the assembly of a vehicle in sections, which are then joined in a final assembly operation. So you can imagine a production line, that's how it works. This approach eliminates the traditional need for welding stamped panels and applying secondary coatings or painting at the full vehicle assembly level. Instead, the vehicle can be constructed in parts with metal surface treatments like e-coating and painting applied before the assembly. The goal behind this manufacturing process is Tesla can build more vehicles. They believe they can speed manufacturing up to double what it is today, or you could say 50% faster than what it is today, approximately give or take. This would be huge. This would allow the cost of manufacturing to substantially decline in comparison to today. And the truth is that, to be honest, manufacturing production lines are already very advanced. They've already are very efficient. They already use mostly robots. And there's not a whole lot more to do other than to make some sort of radical change like this. Tesla says that with this rate of speed of manufacturing, that traditional manufacturing methods have the potential consequence of compounding errors as any slight misalignment or variance can add up. There is a refined focus on efficiency while also recognizing the importance of build quality. This should eliminate most of the issues that Tesla has had with 
its linear manufacturing processes. And I mean, I actually think that this unbox process will be copied by other companies because basically if someone invents something good that works, Chinese manufacturers, they look at it and go, well, thank you very much. We'll do that too. How can we improve on that process? Now, the interesting thing is the car with the largest gigacasting in the world is the Xpeng X9, an MPV. It uses one enormous gigacasting. It's a 12,000 ton casting, uh, much, much bigger than the castings used for the Tesla Model Y. And Xpeng are known for kind of following in the footsteps of Tesla. They did the same thing with their for self driving. They've gone to vision only and obviously gigacasting, structural battery packs. This is good. I mean, this is not a negative. And I think that XPeng might go, okay, uh, that's interesting. How can we utilize any of these techniques to improve our efficiency in our factories? Xiaomi do the same thing. Xiaomi now use gigacasting. They say that they can now make a car in less than 50 seconds or something like that. So the automotive industry is becoming more efficient. It's faster. It's improving quality. It is actually improving quality. There's no question about that. It's making cars lighter. It's making them safer. And um, I'm all for it. I think this is really, really interesting. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now, I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day. Don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount. South Korean battery manufacturer LG Energy Solution announced a landmark battery supply contract on Wednesday. Uh, sources report that the batteries might be supplied to the U.S. tech giant Tesla. If you hate Tesla, there's a lot of people now that do. You're going to hate me by the end of this video. You're going to hate Tesla even more by the end of this video because once again, they have outsmarted the industry. And once again, bizarrely, everyone has just completely ignored what they did. They've got no idea what Tesla just did, even though the facts are so obvious. They're like right in front of our face. But these new batteries, and it's very clear, Tesla signed this deal. It's open. They meant to keep it secret. They tried to, but this deal has been signed. These new batteries are the best batteries that we know of on the market. They're new. They could end up being terrible, but from what we know from the specs, the tech specs, they are the best lithium-ion phosphate batteries the world has ever seen by a significant margin.